guys, what's up? It's me, Slimist, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually change your GTA 5 crew emblem completely on your phone. Now, the reason I'm making this video is if you didn't know, I have made previous videos or on how you could change your crew emblem in GTA 5, but I said that you needed a laptop or computer in order to do that, but a lot of people in the comments said that they do not have a computer, so this tutorial will allow you to actually do the entire process on your phone. So the first thing what you're going to want to do is just open up a new tab on Safari. On Safari, you're just going to want to open up a random new tab. So I just went to Google here. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can add this to a bookmark. So once you open up your random new tab, you're just going to want to click the share button on the bottom of your screen and then go ahead and click add bookmark. Then you're just going to want to rename the bookmark to something that you remember. So I'm just renaming it to console here. Once you've made the bookmark, you could go ahead and close out of this Google tab or whatever tab you actually opened. And then you should see on your main Safari like homepage, uh, you should see the bookmark you just made. And then what you're going to want to do is hold down on it and then click edit. Now there's going to be a link for this in the description, but it's pretty much a JavaScript function code. And what you're going to want to do is copy that from the link of this, uh, or from the description of this video. Go ahead and paste that where the URL was. So go ahead and delete the URL, and then just paste that link that is in the description. And then go ahead and you click save. Then go ahead and open up a new tab or just search up on this current tab. Uh, go ahead and search up GTA 5 emblems. Then just go ahead and click on the first link right here and it should say GTA logos. Now I can't actually show you the website because there's some uh, emblems on there that have depictions of inappropriate things and I've already tried to upload this video before and YouTube age restricted the video because of it but pretty much it's just a bunch of uh, emblems that you could choose from. Uh, there's tons of them, there's probably like over a couple thousand of them that you could actually choose from. There's multiple pages and it's pretty nice but like I said I just can't show it because YouTube will demonetize me so yeah. But once you've found the emblem that you like on this website, so I just found this Pikachu one right here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up a new tab. You're just going to leave this here. Then on the new tab, you're just going to want to search up Rockstar Games Social Club. And if you've seen the other tutorials, you pretty much uh, know what this website is. But if you don't know what this website is, this is pretty much the Rockstar Games official website where you can actually change your uh, crew emblem at. Um, and so pretty much what you're going to want to do is click on the first link, Rockstar Games Social Club, and that's going to ask you to either sign in or sign up. Hopefully you already have a Social Club account linked with your uh, console, so you're just going to want to go ahead and click sign in. And I'll be back after I'm done signing in. Alright guys, so after you go ahead and sign in, you should be greeted with this, with this page right here. And what you're going to want to do is click on your Rockstar Games Social Club profile picture in the top right. So mine is Arthur from Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, yours might be something else. It's kind of just random if you didn't actually choose one. Go ahead and click on your profile picture anyways. And then click view profile and it should say your Rockstar Games uh, username next to it. Then on this page, go ahead and click on cruise. And then it should show you a list of all your current crews that you were part of. And then you're just going to want to click on your crew that you're trying to change the emblem of. Then go ahead and click on the emblems inside of that crew. And then click the orange button that says create emblem. 
Now you should be greeted with this uh, alert that says uh, it's not available on smaller screen sizes or whatever and you need a desktop. But what you're going to want to do is click on the two A's in the top left of the screen and click request desktop site. You should notice that the page re uh, refreshed and then you're just going to want to click on the two A's again and you're going to want to change the font size from 100% to 50%. Then, after changing the font size to 50, you're just going to want to tilt your phone sideways and you should see that the uh, actual editor should appear. Um, and pretty much what we're doing is we're tricking our, uh, the Rockstar Games website into thinking that our phone is a computer because we're making the font size smaller and the screen bigger. Then just go back to your GTA 5 logos and you're going to want to click copy to clipboard next to your uh, emblem that you're trying to copy. Then go back to Rockstar Games Social Club. And you're going to want to uh, tap the bookmarks icon in the top left and click on the bookmark that we just made. So mine's called console. Now you should notice a little thing pop up in the bottom right of your screen that looks like a settings icon kind of. It's a little transparent. You're just going to want to click on that. I know it's kind of hard to click on because it's pretty small. But once you actually click on it, it should pop up this console or this box that takes up most of your screen. And then what you're going to want to do is tilt your phone back upright. And you're going to want to go ahead and click on the line where you can type and you're going to want to paste in um, what you have copied on your clipboard uh, as long as you did copy. Oh my god, I can't talk. All right, so after you click copy to clipboard from actual GTA 5 logos, it should automatically copy something to your clipboard and you're just going to want to paste that here. And then after you've pasted it, you tilt your phone sideways again and then in the bottom right, click execute. Then once you click execute, it should do that and then go ahead and be automatically taken off your screen and then it should pull up the picture or the emblem uh, in where you were supposed to be creating it. So as you see the Pikachu one's right there, now what you're going to want to do is zoom in and it should be there in my emblems and you're just going to want to go ahead and press on it and then click publish. And then uh, go ahead and zoom out. It's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to publish this and make sure you're publishing it to the right crew. If it all checks out, just go ahead and click publish. Guys, once you've actually published it, we could go ahead and uh, change the font size and tilt our phone back to normal. Uh, we don't have to have it on sideways anymore. So here I'm just changing the font size back to 100 so it's easier for you guys to go ahead and read it. Um, but then what you're going to want to do after you change your phone size back to normal is you're going to want to click in the top right on your profile picture once again and you're going to want to go back to view profile. Then once you're back here what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on cruise again and then click on your crew and then click on emblems and you should either see the emblem that you just uploaded or a empty rockstar logo like how i did now if you see the rockstar logo like this that just means it hasn't uploaded yet so give it about two minutes or so to actually upload and then just go ahead and refresh your page and then it should go ahead and pop up but anyways you could go ahead and publish this now by clicking on the three lines in the bottom of your new emblem and then click make crew emblem then it will pop up this alert on your screen right here and it's gonna tell you that you need to uh, confirm that you do want to publish this so then you're just gonna want to go ahead and click the green button or the green the orange button that says confirm <laughs> and then uh, i will go ahead and upload to your crew now it says it could take up to 30 minutes but i'm just going to tell you guys that it takes way longer than 30 minutes it could take up to two weeks to actually show up in game personally for me last time i did it, it took two weeks to show up in game so if it's not showing up for you immediately just wait a little just wait longer it takes forever to actually upload in game but yeah guys that's pretty much the whole tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you and peace